Well, hello again, everybody. Today, I will be explaining how we can update documents in MongoDB. To do that, we would type DB, the name of the collection we're working with, in this case, students. We can either update one document or update many. Let's update one. We will use the update one method. There are two parameters set up, filter and update. Filter is the selection criteria for the update. So within a set of curly braces, we will pass some criteria. Let's update anybody's name. That's SpongeBob. It's basically just selection criteria. The second parameter, it's another document body, is the update parameter. What are the modifications we would like to apply? We will utilize the set operator, which is preceded with the dollar sign. The set operator replaces the value of a field. So after the set operator, add a colon, then another set of curly braces. Yes, there's a lot of curly braces in MongoDB. So within this set of curly braces, after the set operator, that's where we can make our changes. You can add or change the value of a field. SpongeBob doesn't have a full time field. We can add that with the set operator. If this field already exists, we would update it. So let's say SpongeBob is a full-time student. Let's execute this command. It was acknowledged, that's true. We have a matched count of one and a modified count of one. Let's take a look at SpongeBob. db.students.find name SpongeBob. And here he is. He is now a full-time student. With your filter argument, if you're working with a large data set, it is possible that two people can have the same name. It would be safer if we were to update by an object ID. These IDs are unique for each document. Let's update, but with the filter, we will search by object ID. So again, that's db.students.update1. First is the filter parameter. Within a document body, let's select underscore ID colon, then paste that object ID for SpongeBob. For every document, the object ID is unique. Just in case there's two people named SpongeBob, we won't update it. Uh, looks like I have double underscore ID. Let me fix that real quick. Otherwise, we'll get a syntax error. So select the document that has this object ID. Then the second argument, which is comma separated, will be the changes to be made. So we will set colon another set of curly braces. Let's set full time to be false. SpongeBob already works a full time job. He'll just be a part time student. Okay, that was acknowledged. Let's take a look at SpongeBob again using the find method. db.students.find id colon the unique object id. And here's SpongeBob. The full time field is set to false. Before it was true, but we updated it. Now you can unset a field too. Let's get rid of the full time field for SpongeBob. db.students. Update one. We will search by ID. Then for the second argument, we will use the unset operator, which will remove a field. So within another set of curly braces, let's take our full time field colon. Now to remove a field for the value, just set it to be an empty string. Let's take a look. That was acknowledged. Let's select SpongeBob again db.students.find. All right, and here's SpongeBob again. That full time field is gone now. You can use the unset operator to remove a field. Now let's talk about update many. Using the update many method, we can update many documents at once. db.students.update many. This method has the same parameters as update one. If I would like to select every document, I will use an empty set of curly braces. What are the changes we would like to make? Let's use the set operator. Let's set everybody's full time field to be false. If they don't have this field, one will be created for them. All right, let's find every student that was acknowledged db.students.find everybody. 
everybody should have a full time field that's set to false. Full time is false here as well. Yeah, and that applies to everybody. All right, let's unset the full time field for Gary and Sandy. DB dot students dot update one. Let's select name Gary. We will use the unset operator, then add the changes to be made. Full time, then we'll remove it by placing an empty string. I'm going to copy this line. We'll reuse it later. That was acknowledged. Then let's remove full time for Sandy. That was acknowledged as well. So let's double check db.students. Dot find. So SpongeBob and Patrick both have this full time field. Sandy and Gary don't. They were unset. With the update many method, we can check to see if a field exists or doesn't exist within the selection criteria. If any student doesn't have a full time field, let's update it. db.students.updateMany. What is the selection criteria? Let's say the selection criteria is full time field. Does it not exist? We will use the exists operator. Exists preceded with the dollar sign. Then add false. Does this full time field not exist? That's the selection criteria. If a document doesn't have the full time field, we'll give them one. So the second argument will be the changes to be made. We will use the set operator, colon, another set of curly braces. Anybody that doesn't have the full time field, let's set that to be true. Full time, true. Press enter. That was acknowledged. Let's take a look at our students, db.students.find. All right, so Sandy and Gary are both full time students now. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Larry are not full-time students, they're part-time students. That's how to update documents in the MongoDB shell. You can use update one or update many. Let's do the same thing with Compass. Hello again, everybody. In Compass, to update a field of a document, you can press the pencil icon to edit the document. To remove a field next to the field name, you can press the trash can icon to remove it, then update. To add a field, go to the pencil icon again, after a field, you can add a new field by pressing the plus button to add a field. Let's add a full time field for the value. I will set that to be false for SpongeBob. Then you can change the data type here. We'll change that to be a Boolean. Then update. To change a pre existing field, again go to the pencil icon, select your field, then you can change one of the values. But I'll keep this as false. That is how to update documents in Compass. It's fairly easy and straightforward. All right, everybody, so that is how to update documents in MongoDB. You can use the update one method or update many. You pass in a filter for the selection criteria, then the modifications within the update parameter. And that is how to update documents in MongoDB.